Wireman here. I have just nearly finished the exoskeleton, or also known as a suit of armor, that I've been working on for my senior seminar project. It's rather large and heavy, and with the undercoating, it's hot. No ventilation whatsoever, so I can't wear it for all that long right now until I cut the ventilation system into it and expose some skin so I can actually breathe, otherwise I will overheat and suffocate. But basically, here's what it looks like. Hanging on the wall right now, obviously, that's the black thing with the wire sticking out of it is the mask, which is a full helmet. And the back is slightly above that, then I have the chest, the arm, and the leg. I will probably be adding a groin cover or metal loin cloth later on. Just to add some visual interest, it will not be in the stop motion animation I will be doing for Gojira's A Sight to Behold, which will be five minutes. Might unsettle some people with some of the ideas I have. So, I will be putting that on shortly and showing you guys how it moves. You guys ready? I'm about to get a sneak peek of one of the most terrifying things I have made to date. Reflecting ourselves in the blood of all the things we're slain Misunderstand each other out of control will remain There is a mystery, we're facing a sight to behold This is what we make of the world, we throw everything away So, as you can see, it's not exactly the easiest thing to move around Especially with the foot, which you probably could not see in the video, but it has an extended, ow, in really sharp big toe, which just jabbed me right above the toenail. Gotta fix that Dremel tool time, but yeah. Basically, the way this works is the chest is two separate pieces. It separates right here, there's a hook, which comes off like this. There's another one further back here and it clips off like that, then it's the same thing on the other side, except the shoulder clip is a little further back. And the hand, as you can tell, one of the more menacing features, individually jointed fingers, chain links to keep them onto the palm, or the back of the hand. Palm is simply just two wires that come through there, holds it in place. forearm is a separate piece, which connects to the upper arm by this chain link right here, which is the same 14 gauge steel that's made out of the framework for this thing. Other stuff is copper core, gold and silver coated. Then the back, which way do I turn, makes it very difficult to sit down in. There's the shoulder, better look at that, some copper plating with enameling on it. Took a while to cut each individual segment and measure it to spec, then attach it with wire. So this piece has no heat connections on it, it's all cold cut, or cold connections. The back has some more spinies on it, and the vertebra is individually linked. And I have to add one more that will secure it into the waistline of the jeans I'll be wearing, and cutting the right leg off. The leg, as you might have seen earlier, is quite a feat of itself. It's the entire upper leg, which comes up to about my hip joint. Then it has a separate knee that's jointed through chain links again into the calf, which fits pretty well. Then there's the foot. You can see how it's stabbing me right at the connecting point. And last but not least, I do plan on making a belt slash waist piece that I have these helm links that I'm making so that I'll make the belt for it and then I'll have a gigantic sheet metal loincloth coming out of it with lots of spikes very sharp and dangerous looking so that is all for now I will update this as soon as I finish the rest of the work on it and then we will have the actual stop motion video which should be pretty cool looking forward to doing that going to be filming it in the end of July, beginning of August, so it's going to be hot, and I'll be wearing skin-tight clothing, all black, in the middle of summer. 